So hello guys, this is Angel and you're watching Angel's Way of Adventure and it seems that it is winter right now in here in Canada and I want to go ice fishing but as you can see my only ice fishing rod is broken already but I don't worry about it because last summer I found a lot of uh, tip of the rod in the river and the handle too so maybe i can turn it into an ice fishing rod so let's begin the process first i'm gonna show you what i found in the river uh, last summer it's a tip of the rod and a handle i didn't throw it on the bin i just keep it so that in the near future like this one i can use it for some fishing rod so let's do the build so as you can see, this is my old fishing rod, my one and only fishing rod, and it's already broken. But last summer, I found a lot of broken rod in the river. They throw it away, and I just clean it, I cut it. So I got a very good handle for it. One, two three and this one is a telescopic rod but it's already broken i'm gonna fix it later but i'm going to make a uh, ice fishing rod out of this uh, tip of the rod this tip of the rod i found it on the river too when i'm diving and it seems okay they just lost it in there and the tip was okay and the guide too like this one and but this one it doesn't have any tip but i don't worry about it and i found this one it is suitable for my old fishing rod I guess I just gonna attach it in here in there now I get one that's pretty simple fix an old tip and my old fishing rod and it now I got one fishing rod ice fishing rod and the only problem is this has a huge hole in here but I only need a bushing to adapt this holder for this tip. So let's find a bushing on my tools. Oh, and I need a tip of the rod. And see, I get a lot of tip of the rod that I found on the river. I think this one is good. This one, I need you. That's for that one. Yep. And the bushings. These are the bushings that I'm going to use. Okay. Close it. My little toolbox in there. And this bushing, I made it a long time ago for this project and as you can see it's not focusing it's just a piece of plastic don't mind the scars on my finger see it's a smaller hole in there and a shop with a step and this different sizes so that it can fit on the handle and the tip okay Let's begin the process of assembling it. So, what I need is this 5 minute epoxy to fix the bushing into the handle and put the rod end into this. And I also need sandpaper, just a little bit of sandpaper that is already used. And a very small saw 
so that I can cut this one to, to size so I'm just gonna cut this one I wanna cut it in there I want to put it in a chair so that I can cut it good I broke the handle of the the saw need fixing good see got it already and just gonna sand it down a little bit a little blow to that and it's good but I think I want to keep this one and by the way, this is a Sebco. Ah, very cheap red, but it works for me. I want to get this ring and put it in there. Just crack it. Oh, pretty nice. Stick to that very well. Now I got the ring in here. Just gonna clean it, clean it a little bit. Just gonna remove the the old glue in there. It's good enough and as you can see guys I retain this hook keeper then I'm gonna put this in here and a little top A little bit more. That's it. Let's plot it in there. And I'm just gonna find the right bushing. This is the one. This is the right bushing for that. And this one is for this one. And the other one too. Like that one. See? It's good. And just I'm gonna find a partner for that. Oops. It's good. Okay. I think this is the one gonna put it like that but I need to mix some epoxy I 
gonna use this piece of aluminum as my mixing table. So that should be enough. Yep. Mix it well. This is a five minute epoxy guys. And it's pretty fast to dry it out. That's why I need to work fast too. So that it won't harden on me. Just a little bit of this epoxy is enough. You don't need to put a lot of it. Because it's too hard for this one. Just push it in there. And let it dry. I'm just gonna put it aside it will dry in a bit and this one is for is that the one yeah I think so just put a little amount in there And put it inside the bushing like so so as you can see it is fixing there when it dry the last one I love using this uh, 5 minute epoxy when doing this kind of job because I don't want to put it on the rotisserie to dry. This 5 minute epoxy will dry pretty quick. I don't need a rotisserie for this. I just wipe it a little bit. Make it look like rounded. Like so. See, it's been fixed in there, then and now I'm gonna put it on the handle, this one is, I think for this one, yep, but in this part, I need to put a lot of epoxy that should be good and then make sure that the ring guide is aligned to the uh, real seat I'm aligning it to the real seat and just by looking at it yeah it's good see
little bit of alignment put it aside do the other one This one is for this one. Oops, not really. I think it's for this one. Yep. Fits in. Then align it a little bit. On the red seat, on the real seat, I mean. Then the last one. And that is the, not the last one, and I'm gonna put a little bit in here. So that it won't go away when I push this one inside. Yeah. Now I got four new rebuilt ice fishing rod. The only thing that is missing is the end rod, end ring, end guide for that one. So you just need to you need to burn it so that it will uh, remove the glue from this one. So I need to find a lighter for that. Hope I can find one. <clears throat> the lighter in there here, and you just burn it, but don't burn yourself. See, it's easy to remove. Then clean it a little bit. Whoopsie. I need a tissue to clean it. Now it's done. It's clean. I'm gonna put it in here. I hope it fits. Oh, it almost fit. I just need to fix it and make it a little bit bigger. Be cleaning it. Just gonna clean it. Now 
it's good and then just gonna clean the end of this rod so that the epoxy will stick to this one hope it's not dried Put it in. Just gonna wipe it a little bit. Need more epoxy for that. And we'll just gonna wait and let it dry for a moment that's it so that's it guys I made uh, at least four I made a poor ice fishing rod out of a broken rod now it is usable and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and put some reel in it like this one a very cheap reel that I also found in the river don't buy a lot just go dive in the river clean the river and you can find something like this see I got a ice fishing rod a newly built ice fishing rod out from the old rods see you can save a lot of money from this guys I don't mind if the rod are not equal in length it's okay it's usable see that and I got one in here that is also broken and this is broken too I found it on the river I'm gonna fix it next time maybe next project and this one I found this on the river and I made it a spooler see you can uh, put your reel in here and put a line in there. There is a tensioner and voila. See? Old rods are usable. So don't throw it out. Just save it for a project like this. So that is that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get an idea on how to preserve an old rod and make it a smaller rod. They call it a kid rod or ice fishing rod because it's small but it's pretty tough because uh, small rods are tougher than the longer rod I mean because think it's solid maybe I hope so and I hope it doesn't break again and use it for ice fishing or give it to the kids out of your community and help them to be a good fisherman too so guys that's it for to me and I hope you like it tight lines and always be adventurer and God bless you Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and please subscribe, like and share.
Thank you.